I'm glad to introduce our work David, Mobile IoT Communication, Exploiting Stealthly Speaker to Gyroscope Channel. This is a joint work conducted by Zhejiang University and the State University of New York at Buffalo. Today, IoT has been widely used, but there are still many obstacles to such an everything-related IoT network. We illustrated the problem with two robots, an old robot for E, mixed with an up-to-date robot if. For E may just support several protocols due to its old age. For example, DigB or BLE. While E may support different protocols, even worse, for E is likely to only support private protocols developed by its manufacturer. In this case, those incompatible protocols prevent them from chatting with each other. In another case, they might share a compatible protocol for communications, but the electromagnetic interference or shuddering is catastrophic for communications. They are also inhibiting from talking to each other. In addition, current wireless communication always requires necessary pairing between the transmitter and the receiver. Considering where it is too old, its pairing component is out of order, both in hardware and software. It's like where it is deaf, so he fails to hear what you said. Our version here is to establish a protocol independent channel that requires no additional hardware and is robust in a mobilizable IoT network, enabling the deaf device to hear what others are saying. We turn our attention to the gyroscope. Interestingly, we found light. It will respond to ultrasound and produce low-frequency readings. This is observation. It's possible to build a complementary communication channel to current IoT devices. So if using such a system, we can add the dive for E to understand what E is saying. However, to achieve this, we have to address several challenges. First, how to identify the receiver in a dynamic IoT network? This means we must guarantee that the receiver is for E, but E shares secrets with him. Traditional methods require excessive configuration or manual identification, which are impractical here. We propose a new device fingerprint, the ID range, to help Eve to identify where Eve from other devices. It's extracted from the diversity of resonant passbound of gyroscope at where E. Our experiments show light, jointly using them to generate a device fingerprint, will lead to a 96% accuracy in identifying the receivers. Secondly, the communication quality is very important. However, because of gyroscope inherent noise, where it may miss the code what it sends. Traditional anti-noise technologies are usually based on spectrum analysis, but the impact of noise is still significant because of random and unpredictable frequency offset. Under this condition, we observe that all axes of the gyroscope share the same response frequency and follow a fixed phase difference. We apply multiplier here. The result includes a constant, a second harmonic component, and a high frequency noise. The latter two can be removed by a filter. As a result, we obtain an idle free channel. Last but not least, motion inference is a key issue to a gyroscope. In this slide, when it calls for E, where E is moving, the gyroscope at where E will produce additional readings, and the communication channels are ruined. So he couldn't make out what E is saying. To solve this issue, we adopt a BSS model and reorganize components based on the interaxis characters. Therefore, DAFID manages to be robust against the device movements in a mobile network. To evaluate the performance, we build a prototype of DAFID using off-the-shelf gyroscopes, speakers, and phones. For evaluating transmission capacity, we test our gyroscopes with different parameters. It can reach 47 BPS, while BER remains a low level within 0.6%. It's dependent for different requirements of transmission speed and tolerance of error flexibility in various locations. For evaluating performance in different orientation, we rotated a five wire speaker around a gyroscope. The results of SNR and VR keep similar in all directions, which indicates the flexibility on the placement. For evaluating the communication distance, we raise the power of a speaker to 30 bar. It can reach up to 40 meters among gyroscopes and 12 meters among phones. In summary, we build a protocol independent and robust channel for the mobile IoT network, analyze the gyroscope's interaxis relationship, and propose a novel device fingerprint. Thank you, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.